reputation um, was a man that takes no prisoners, a fearsome reputation. Hugh, uh, do you want a coffee? Aye, uh, please go. I think Hugh was the most dangerous man in Scotland, and that's obvious when you meet him, he's still got that look. It's, it's like an aura around him that you're not going to mess with him. You know that he could just flick at any minute. He's also unusual because he spent so much time in a special unit in Barlini. Um, he's a man that's been kept in a cage, been shackled to the floor. He's had so many things done to him. In 1993, Hugh Collins was released from jail. He'd served 16 years of a life sentence for murder. It's just great to be you know, and I don't feel any malice towards the system or anybody else. No, it's over. I've done the sentence. Hugh was considered one of the most dangerous prisoners in Scotland. In the first year of his sentence, he attacked three prison officers. I uh, attacked the first one, stabbed him seven times. Somebody jumped my back. I stabbed him four times. I got another guy done. It lasted about 20 minutes, so it was quite a long fight. I tried to kill this one officer. What saved him? He had a wig on, and I grabbed it. I stabbed him in the neck. Then the wig came away and I fell. I slipped on blood. And I just turned round, they were there with the riot shields. And they just crushed me up against the wall. Spread eagled me, battered me in there. I was unconscious within minutes. You try and get unconscious as fast as possible, so you don't feel anything. I come back round again as they were running me towards the hall. And they took me to a dungeon. I was in there for a year. There isn't any windows, there isn't any daylight. I was beaten up twice a day. Would you have killed the screws, given the chance? I would have killed them. I've never apologised for it. I don't regret it. And I'm being honest about it. I enjoyed what I'd done. So do you think that because they were screws, they deserved it? I've heard about this tough guy who's a martial art expert in weapons. He does jujitsu. He's a golfer, a singer, a doorman. He's a little bit naughty. He's done a bit of bird. And there's one other thing. He ain't got no legs. I'm Kate Cray, and this is Hard Bastards. Dutchie has done nine years in the slammer. He's been in it up to his neck. But at 38, he wants to move on and work on the door, leaving all his skullduggery behind. Dutchie was born with his terrible disability, and life was never going to be easy. home in South London, where he's lived for 24 years, Dutchie gave me the rundown on his list of achievements, and I don't mean the dodgy ones. So what sort of martial arts can you do then, Dutch? Oh, this a bit of nunchucker. Nunchucker's um, the two pieces of wood with the chain between them, um, champion in that for three years running. I do a bit of jiu-jitsu, and basic kempo, fighting art, and basic self-defense. See, I don't know. All this don't mean nothing to me. Just show me. Show me what oh, you can okay, do. Okay, okay. The, the jabby technique. Oh, my lord. Do you know? Yeah, then we've got kick in. You know? We can have an helicopter. You know? Or we can do the matrix. And we can go up against and walk out the wall, Kate. Come up here with me, if you want. That's you're <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I've heard that a few times, yeah, I've heard that a few times. Uh, but, uh, you know, being a doorman, you've got to be able to look after yourself. Uh, you've got to believe in yourself for people to believe in you. People will come up to you and go, oh, uh, I've heard you're a martial artist or a karate man and this and that. And obviously I don't jump up and do that. I'm just Dutch the doorman. But sometimes when it goes wonky, I think it's a shock that I can handle myself. Which backs people off, rather than, um, well, that did not. I've, uh, I've been about, Kate. I've been about. I can look after myself. So if I'm on the door, I'll keep him at a distance. If he walks towards me, I'll step back slightly and I'll say to him, stay there, mate. I'm talking to you. Don't, make, don't, don't come forward. Stay there. If I've got to walk round him, I'll keep him at that distance to my crutch. I have three master shots. One's the head, I the nose. So the plexus does his breathing. 
kidney punch. He's not going anywhere. He can't straighten up to punch me. He's, he's, he's immobilised. They're not going to use that for his hands. Most geezers that come to argue and fight him with all will come with open hands. So their fingers are all showing. If you get a pair of crutches or a stick whacked across your fingers, you don't want to fight no more. Your knuckles.